GarageBand here in iOS used to have a very cool feature, and that was the ability to share a project, a song file here in GarageBand as a video directly to GarageBand. Now, unfortunately, they took that away a couple of versions ago. So in this video, I'm going to show you a quick and free way that we can share a GarageBand file quickly as a video to YouTube. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record and release your best music. Now, if you are using GarageBand here and you want to share it as a video file, there's a few ways to do this and I've showed the previous ways in previous videos. The number one way I suggest is to select your file here to share it over to iMovie. So if you share your song here, you share it as an uncompressed wave, you can actually copy it to iMovie and then edit it there and I'll link a video up the top and in the description showing exactly how to do that. The other great thing that you can use is an app called Visibel. Now that is a paid app by Clef Grant. I've got another video all about that, which once again will be linked up the top and down below as well. But if you want a quick and easy and convenient way to just share, if you just want to share the audio and you're not that fussed about the video that you're sharing, well then we can use the very cool Voice Record 7 app, which I've shown before in another video about converting to MP3. But this time, instead of converting to mp3 we're actually going to convert this project to a video file send it straight to youtube or save it as a video file that we can then upload to youtube so let's stop talking and start showing you how to get this done so i'm here in the project file of my latest song called perfect at the moment it sounds like this and it has just an acoustic guitar and a vocal so it's a simple little mix here, but what I want to do is I want to share this. If I want to share this as a video file, but I don't want to go to a bunch of effort, how do I get it done? Well, the simple way is we come out here, we tap in the top left, we go to my songs, and then we tap select and we tap on this project. Now in the bottom left here, we tap on our share button, this box with an arrow. We want to share the song file, we tap on song. We want to share it as an uncompressed wave and we tap the share button in the top right corner. It's now going to give us some options of where we want to send this file. Now up the top here, I'm going to scroll across to the right and I'm going to select, when I get there, Voice Recorder 7. Now I will link down in the description and in the comments to where you can actually download this. It's a very cool free voice record app, but it does a whole bunch more with our audio and can do some conversions and some video creation, which is what we're going to show you here. So I'm going to tap on the icon there. It will export this song and then it will actually bring it directly in to Voice Record 7. So once it is exported, once we're jumped into Voice Record 7, I will resume and show you what we need to do next. And there you go, we've imported this file. Perfect, version three has been imported to library. We're gonna tap on okay here. Yes, we are here now in portrait mode because this app only works in portrait mode for most functions. And I'll show you what we can do in landscape in a moment. So here is our file here under the 2nd of September. So we can tap on this file. It will open it up here. We can hit play now. Now there's a bit of a gap beforehand and then it will start playing our track here because we've just had that lead in in GarageBand. So there it goes. Nice classic design here there. I've pressed stop. We have a VU meter. I'll just press play again and pause. Got a VU meter. Got a playback volume. This is a great app. If you haven't used it before, definitely download it. It does a whole bunch of cool things. But we'll hit stop there and we'll go back. Now, the reason this app is free is it's ad supported. You can see the ad for some sort of something down the bottom there. It will vary depending where you are in the world. But what we have here is a whole bunch of options down here. And I've showed this before where we can use the advanced converter here to convert it to an MP3 and a bunch of other audio formats. So it's very, very handy for that. But in this one, we're going to use some of our advanced editing functions here to actually firstly trim this file to get rid of that little pause at the start and then actually export it as a video. So let's jump in and do that now. So what we want to do is tap on the advanced edit button here and yes, we're now in landscape mode, but through the power of editing, we'll flip us around and we're good to go there now. Now, what we actually want to do is firstly trim this file. So up here in the top right next to the X, we're going to tap on the little trim button here and now you can see we've got these handles here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the left handle out here till just before the start of the track, maybe around about there and then we'll drag the right handle, not the whole track, the right handle 
handle here. Now, GarageBand does a good job of cutting off the end. So as soon as there's no audio playing, it's ending it. So I trust its end point, which is right there. That's as far as it can go to the right, but I do need to make sure we trim the start. So what I can do to test this now is press the track back button here at the top left and then hit play and it will start playing this track. Actually, no, it's playing it from before there. Our playhead's gone before, so I'm uh, still getting to still getting used to this. So now that we're in that zone, what I can do is press the track back button, and there you go. Now it goes back. So all I needed to do is bring this playhead somewhere into the blue zone, and then press at the top here, the left or the track back button, to go back to the track. Now if we hit play... That's about right. We've got just over a second there of lead-in, so we've trimmed that lead-in down, which is very, very cool. So what we now need to do is tap again on this trim button where we've got in the top right corner here, and now it's gonna give us some options. We can keep the selected area, delete the rest, we can do a bunch of other things, and that's what we wanna do. We wanna crop this or trim this audio file down so that when we share it as a video, it doesn't have that big, long lead-in. So let's go keep selected area and delete the rest. And there you go, it is now done. We'll tap save in the top right corner and we will either save as a new record or overwrite the current recording. We're going to save as new recording and then we're back over here in portrait mode. So once again, we'll flip over and we'll take a look at this. So there we go. Record or recording has been trimmed. We're going to tap OK there and we're good to go. If we tap in the top left here now to go back to where we started from, here you can see that we have all of our different files here and this time we've got two up the top here. We've got perfect version 3 and we've got perfect version 3 rev 001. So that is the one that we actually want. You can see it's smaller there. It's 4 minutes and 2 seconds instead of 4 minutes and 7. So that's a pretty simple thing. If you didn't have that bit at the start, you wouldn't even have to trim it, but I thought I'd show you how to do that here so that you're ready to go. So now we are ready to share this as a video file, either directly to YouTube or to save it as a video file to then upload to YouTube. I'm going to show you both ways. Let's jump in and do that now. So there's one more thing I'm going to do before we actually export this to YouTube, and that is to tap on this file, and then up the top here, we can actually edit the name of it. So instead of it being called 2 September 2019, 8 p.m., I can tap on that, and now we can actually rename this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete, and I'm going to rename this to Pete Johns, and then a hyphen, and then Perth. And then I'm also going to change the file name. So I'm going to select that selector there and we're going to do all of that. We're going to hit the go button or tap this tick in the top right either way. And there you go. It's changed it now to Pete John's Perfect. You'll understand why I've done that in just a moment when we do that. So now we're going to scroll down here and there's a couple of options that we want to explore. One is post to YouTube or with its uh, nice old YouTube logo there. What we'll do is we'll tap on post to YouTube. And then we're going to tap on the post button here. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to take us into our movie templates mode. So here you can see we've got our system templates and we can choose a screen size of one to one or four by three or 16 by nine. Now this is pretty cool because if we were sharing to something like Instagram, we could go with that four by three. I don't think anyone uses, but we're going to go 16 by nine because this is YouTube's default resolution. And now you can see we've got all these templates. So if we scroll to the right, we can actually move these along. And what you'll notice here is that things like this one, it has Pete John's perfect there. And what I like to do is go right to the end of this and the second from the end, this one has just the title at the top there and just this default logo. Now remember, this is free. So yes, if you're expecting like amazing templates, then use either iMovie or the Visibel app. But you can see here, you can use any of these sort of templates. They're okay. There's even custom templates in the top right here. So you can share something like this. It always has the date there as well. But again, you can share these as any of these movie templates. And it's just a quick way to get your song file. Remember, this is just to share your audio. It used to just be a GarageBand logo. So it's okay that we're just using these templates. So go to the very end. I'm going to use this one, 13 of 14, 16 by 9. And then in the top right, we're going to tap on continue to go to our next one. It's now going to make the movie frame. So what it's doing is it's creating a video file. It's attaching your audio track to that video file. And now 
it is going to throw me over into my Google account. So what I need to do is log into one of my Google accounts, which I'm going to do here, and then we will return. So all you need to do in yours is put in your Google, your Gmail, or your YouTube username and password, and then you'll be ready to upload your first video. All right, so I've chosen my access there. I'm logged in as my other account here, my other Pete John's YouTube account because I don't really want to throw this up on my Studio Live Today account. So now I can add in my title. So it's already defaulting to Pete John's Perfect. I can add my description here. So I'll just say acoustic mix of my new song. And we can now make it either public, unlisted, or private. So if you want to make it public, make it public. Unlisted means that it will go on your channel. You can share a link with anyone, but no one can see it publicly. And private is exactly as it sounds. It's just for you. I'm going to share this public. So if you do follow me on my other channel, you'll see a strange video pop up. We can then choose what we want it to be. We want it to be music here. So we'll add music as the category. And then in the top right corner, we can tap on the upload button. And this will go away and start uploading our file. So it's only a seven megabyte video file because it's not a particularly large file. It's only basically the audio with a still frame going all the way through. But you can see how quickly, even if, if you didn't do the trimming, this would have been super quick, right? You would have logged into YouTube, you would have hit the upload button and you're good to go. Now, if by the way, if when you log into YouTube, it will ask you, do you trust Voice Record 7.2? upload to your YouTube account and to gain access to your videos. So if you don't want to do this, hang around because the next method is where we can actually save it separately and then upload it separately as well. So if you don't want to give this app access to your YouTube, that is cool. You can actually just save the file and then manually upload using the YouTube app. But file has been uploaded now. We're good to go. We're going to tap OK there. And that is all there is to it. It is done. We will check in at the end to see this file on YouTube so you can see how it's actually worked and that it has indeed actually uploaded to YouTube. But for now, let's show you the other method. If you're not so comfortable letting this app post to YouTube directly, what about if you want to save it as a video file that you can then and manually upload, email, do whatever you like with it. Let's show you that now. So we're here in exactly the same place, but this time instead of uploading directly to YouTube, we are going to come down here to activities and airdrop. We're going to tap on that sucker and here we go. We can export audio or export movie. We're going to go movie and here we've got those same familiar templates exactly as we did in the last one. Again, we can choose our screen size. So let's time this time, let's go one to one and pretend for some reason we wanted to upload this to Instagram. Might be a bit of a boring Instagram video, but I just wanted to show you how we can do this. We're then going to tap continue here in the top right corner and it's going to again make those movie frames for us ready to go. There it's done. And now this will look familiar to you. We can now send this to any of our other apps along the top here. So any apps that accept this directly, unfortunately YouTube doesn't. So what we need to do is actually save it to our files. So in the bottom left here, we're going to tap save to files. And this will bring up this dialog box, which will look very familiar if you've used this before. Let's just throw this back on my iPhone in my GarageBand folder. So we're going to tap add on that one. You could put it on your iCloud drive. You can put it anywhere else that you can access here. We'll put it in GarageBand. We'll tap add. And that is done. That video file is now in our GarageBand folder on this phone. So now let's finish up by showing you two things. We'll show you where it saved that in files so that we can access that and use that file. And I'll show you on YouTube where we can actually see this video uploaded. So to go to our files app, we're just going to search files here. We'll tap on files, jumps over here into our files app. We'll tap locations to go back here. We'll tap on on my iPhone. We'll tap on GarageBand. And then here it is, Pete John's Perfect. If we tap on this one to play it back, there it is. It looks exactly as it did. So yes, it's not the most interesting graphic or image, but we created it in like two seconds directly from GarageBand by sharing that file and then saving it out. So now if we hit play on this one, we'll hear that familiar sound of my track. 
And again, not glamorous, but you know what? If you wanted to just share this with someone, you want to email them this file, it's only like seven meg. It's a very small file. They can play it on any video player. You want to upload it to YouTube, as we suggested before, and as we did in the other version, you can do that. Share it however you like. Put it as unlisted or private. Keep it for yourself, whatever you want to do. So we'll tap done on that one. Let's now finish off by showing you on YouTube where this other file has gone and how we would upload this now to YouTube if we wanted to upload this separate file. So here I am in the YouTube app here on my iPhone. There's Derek Smith playing a, a cool cover there. Anyway, what we can do is tap here in the bottom right under library, and then we can go to my videos. And what we should see, drum roll, there it is. So there is Pete John's Perfect. You can see I did another demo here before. That's an unlisted video. You can tell the difference. One's got the little map of the world globe and one has got the unlisted. So if I wanted to, I can just tap on this first one and take a look and a listen. Here it is right here on YouTube on my channel when my internet catches up and starts playing it. There it goes. Very cool. We'll hit pause on that one and we'll go back. Now, if I want to upload that other one that I did, simple. All we do is tap on the camera icon up here in the top right. We'll tap on that one. And then we've got the option here to record or to go live or to actually post a video here. Now, what you'll notice here is we can only post a video directly from my photo library. So let's quickly show you how we can fix this. All we need to do is double tap here or swipe or whatever you do to change. Come back over here to our files and we just need to tap select, select on this file in the bottom left corner here, we'll tap on that one and all we need to do here is save this video to put it into our camera roll. So bottom right, second from the right, tap save video, that's now in our camera roll. Now if we go back to YouTube and if we tap in the top right, now we've got it there. We can tap on that one and there it is, ready to go, ready to share. Hit pause on that one, hit next and like that, and then enter our title, enter our description, hit upload, that will upload, and then that will be available on YouTube. So it really is as simple as that. You can get, we'll discard that one, you can get your files onto YouTube with one or two taps here using the Voice Record 7 app directly from GarageBand. I hope you found this useful. If you've got any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. There's those two videos about Visibel and about iMovie that I mentioned, Link down below. If you want to check out the other methods, click or tap on the Studio Live Today icon to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next video.